Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius July 10, 2022. People don't even try to understand what motivates you. But, that's just fine with you, because you do what you have to do no matter what anyone else thinks. However, today, you may feel like explaining your actions, not because you feel you have to justify yourself. People won't even if ask you to do so. It's almost as if you need to explain things to yourself through other people. The day will allow you to take care of your sentimental problems. Express your desires and don't try to refrain them like you normally do. Try to develop new romantic strategies. So far, you have always talked about your professional life and you lack charisma. Your equilibrium also depends on your will to open up to others. A check you may have been expecting to receive in the mail may be delayed, and you might not be able to contact whoever is sending it. You could be in a panic over whether or not you'll get it at all. This could be a classic case of getting worked up over nothing. The delay won't cause any lasting problems, just inconvenience and frustration. Hang in there, the money will come. You may have to take major action today in order to defend your position. Realize that your current mindset has brought you to a certain point and now you are faced with having to defend that point. It may feel as if the school bully is standing up to you and demanding your lunch money. Don't give in without a fight. More than likely, the bully is just as frightened of you as you are of him. Your family doesn't seem to be supporting you as much as usual. Instead, they are critical now and then. Don't go on the offensive, but listen carefully to what they are saying. Who knows, their objections may be justified. It's better to discuss this with friends, as they see matters more objectively. It's all good fun for you and your people all day. Even if you're stuck at work or school, you'll still find new ways to pass the time and keep everybody happy. Being tested, you seek proof as to whether the decisions you made regarding your love life are correct. It's possible others make you aware of having made a mistake. This is a good time to reevaluate your situation. Remain calm, be optimistic about the future and let events unfold, better times are on the way. Partnerships of all kinds play a central role on the stage of your life today. Although one aspect of a certain relationship may appear to be over, it is far from ending. Just beginning a whole new phase. Any anxiety you now feel is due to the fear of the unknown, but things will turn out well as long as you can be flexible and adaptable. When making any decisions take the long range rather than the short-term view. If you have a partner this is the day to take time together. With the presence of a vibration in the air, family and relationships will be most prominent. Given that your work life, responsibilities, and everything you have to tend to take a great deal of your time, connecting with special people like this may not happen as much as you'd like. Waste no time in making some plans to enjoy the company of loved ones today. Although you may want to bring things down to earth so that you can better plan, organize, and rearrange, this may not exactly be the best course of action today. For the most part, you are better off keeping things light and uplifting. You will find that things will fall into place as you need them to. Trust in others. Realize that some of the best experiences you will have in your life are the spontaneous ones. Put your to-do list away. With Mars in your work sector for nearly seven weeks, as the moon returns to a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart every four weeks it was a given at some point they would clash. The advantage of this happening just days after Mars returned earlier in the week is that this is putting how well you know when to keep your work hat on and when to take it off just days after moving into the busiest weeks of the year and before bad habits have a chance to form. This is the right reminder at the right time. It was a given that Mars' departure from your romantic sector earlier in the week would see the urgency drop back but the fact that the remaining three planets have the breaks on ahead of retrograde turns has added to this. With the love gods in this for the long haul and more focused on the journey, this gives you a chance to focus more on your relationships as Venus, the planet of love moves into her final days in your relationship sector. Our eyes in the sky. Today is the third time Mercury and Neptune have squared off over the past few months. The first time was on May 22nd, 
setting the tone, and the tension, for Mercury's retrograde that started on May 29th. The second time these two planets squared off was on June 5th, during the height of Mercury's retrograde. Paranoia, anxiety, and uncertainty could heighten. Mercury is in its post-retrograde shadow until tomorrow, so it's important to realize that we may not hear or understand the whole truth of some situations. This is a very sensitive astrological aspect, which could make people assume the worst. Depression and friction could rise, and the chance of projection is high, so be careful not to soak up other people's sentiments. Be kind and compassionate, and don't take your bad moods out on others. If people come at you with drama, you can opt to disengage. Take care of yourself and put your needs first. Tonight, Venus in Leo opposes Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. This could make us feel insecure, as though others are ignoring us. Don't worry about what people are doing and feeling. Only focus on how you're feeling. Give yourself an emotional lift by implementing self-care in your routine to help you feel better. If you are awake before the sun, treat yourself like royalty by staying in your cozy bed. Or if you're up early, treat yourself to an elaborate breakfast, ideally made by someone else. There's an early morning moon-Jupiter opposition that can transmit good feelings and the desire to be super generous and kind, but the more nice gestures you make the more attention you get, which is something that you probably won't want during this aspect. You like doing things for others and now because it makes you feel good, not because you want to be recognized for it, and the more thanks you get the more it actually lessens your experience. But don't try to overcomplicate things too much now. Just after midnight, Mercury in Scorpio squares Neptune in Pisces. We have one more day to go before Mercury completes its post-retrograde shadow, and as it aspects the planet of illusion and delusion, the cosmic messenger seems determined to pack one final punch. Our interactions are confusing and subject to misunderstandings. We are liable to only hear what we want to hear and see what we want to see. Our imagination might lead us into blissful territory, only to dissolve into disappointment when the rose-colored glasses inevitably come off. This is a bad time for giving or receiving advice, which means we would also do well to avoid metaphysical consultations. Even if we receive a cohesive message from a reader, we will filter it through our own optimistic projections, skewing its intended impact. In the evening, the Scorpio moon sextals Venus in Leo, a good time to lounge with friends and socialize. Although the confusion of the day might linger into the night, there's no reason to keep ourselves isolated if we are aware of the pitfalls of over-idealism. We can certainly get a lot out of our interactions with others now, especially in relaxed conversation. Remember that avoiding gossip and being upfront in our interactions will limit the risk of misinterpretation and invite in goodwill.